so welcome to Bikini Pakaner. This is my own show where I travel and discover the world. This episode, my favorite fisherman and the firefighter Brett is taking us to fishing and I have my first snorkeling experience. Check out my crazy gulamas and wishlist with all the bikinis you can imagine. Next Sailing Liberty Show is Blue Water Upgrades. Everything you can think about getting your boat ready to travel the world. Off we go. Tell us how excited you are. I'm really excited. What? Oh my gosh, how are you? Everybody gets a freebie. Maybe it's a good sign to see the other before we go on the sea. One last time. One last time. <laughs> doing it. You guys picked a good day. You gotta crank them oh up. I got the fish. I got the fish. <laughs> Put this hand. Okay. This one. This one right there. This one yep. here. And that gives okay. you a little, a little more leverage. Oh my gosh. They suck on the sharks. Though. That's it. Little rover. Oh, you catch them in the river too, right? Yeah. Is it too tiny, or is it enough? Well, that's just a. That's pretty subjective. <laughs> yeah. But now they gotta be, they gotta be ten, and he's just under. Not legal, barely yeah. legal. We'll get some. We'll get some. You get nothing, and you like it. <laughs> Go swimming, Mister. Yeah. Can you make a man's dream come true? Grab me a beer out of the cooler. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I was t-balling that one right up, but... Ooh, yeah, see, when they're about that big, that's the one you want. That's how you do it wow. right there, sweetheart. Yeah, that's... Ooh. It'll get your finger caught in there, that's a vice. When oh, they, they snap like good, that... They got a pretty good bite. Oh, yeah. I think I heard the sound. They, and they're pretty toothy. Yeah, that... Dang. That'll get you. But yeah, about that size is what we're after. He's a big old fish. So, when we get into federal waters, nine miles offshore, you get ten of these per person. Now I know how it works in the fishing boat. You have to drink a beer to make room for a fish. Ah! Whoa! That's a beauty. Blue runner. That, and you see they're so fast. They, they tuck that fin. 
<laughs> so tight, but when they're moving around, I mean, they're little athletes. They tuck that thing right there. I got the fish again. What is it? Spanish. First Spanish mackerel, right? Yeah, that's my first. How quick did you catch that fish? That quick. And right in the butt. All you got is a head. <laughs> Bot is hooking them every time, sweet bear. Another mangrove? Yeah. These are probably one of my favorite fish. Yeah. Yeah. Snapples. You have to pull out of here. Yep. That's the deal. It's a one for one exchange. Nice. Well done, Captain. Nice. You guys want to snorkel this? or? Yeah, right? Yeah. You don't need sure. a wetsuit or anything. Just jump right in and check it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Those are like little rocks, yeah, natural rocks there. Yeah, limestone, ledges. Can I take the chum in just in case? <laughs> yeah, you can. Here. I'm a little scared. All right, your flippers look perfect. Oh, is so bored. <laughs> I thought you were Nordic. Once you're in, it doesn't feel cold. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your head's not underwater yet. Yeah, yeah, you already had your mask on. Just go ahead and look down. Look down. Look down right now. You can hold on. You can still hold on. Yeah, look down underwater. Sit slowly. Sit slowly. Come on, little girl. Come back over to the boat. Doing fine. Slow and steady. Come on. I can't. I can't. Come on. Reach out. Put your mouth above water. Don't do it. You're floating. You're floating. Slow and steady. 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 Just hang, now, now, just hang on here. Just hang out and enjoy the ride for a minute. <laughs> I was thinking they're going to drown there. I couldn't no. move. Yeah, would you just come right? She's practicing here. Yeah, practice right here. Get used to it. Yeah. Very good. How's it feel? Very steady. Feels pretty good, right? Wow. But yeah, it's the closed track system, you know, a rail gun. The spear. Oh, it's inside. It can't come it's out. Captured. Yeah. yeah. It's inside of a poly track. Yeah. And it turns it into a it's a dart. Like a sniper rifle type deal. Wherever you point it, that's where it goes. Versus like the open track, which these are good. A lot of commercial divers use these. Um, difference being that the spear kind of floats as it leaves the track. Not as precise. Yeah, it gets a little sloppy outside of 10 feet. Yeah. Still kills fish though. It's a great rock gun. Uh, that's a JBL. Great for crawling around ledges, you know, poking your flashlight around. This thing will kill a lot of grouper. Nice. No doubt. I dropped out, hunted around a little bit, and uh, yeah, I kind of saw a shadow, so I kind of creeped over there towards him. And uh, he got a little interested, so he came to check me out, and he gave me a perfect shot. Oh, yeah, got him. And then you they put him... up a little bit of a fight on the way up because I don't have a reel, yeah. so I've only got ten foot leash, so I had to like power through and swim him up. But yeah, he's in the box now. But this one is two years old, and I've beaten beat this one. And it looks still like that's killed a lot of gags. And a Kobe today. Brad, you're a champion. That might be like 18 pounds. That is. 18 pounds packed. That's like a giant fish as long as you. Up. Oh, that's awesome. Dang, that's called a cobia, huh? Nice. Helen's first snorkeling experience. 
a little bit of chop, she did great. Tuso, Tuso builds a really good gun. I'm mad that I don't have one. So Tuso, if you guys see me, <laughs> hook shoot, a brother, hook up. a brother up, man. I'll even pay full price. <laughs> Dang, that's why we came to learn about it. Put yeah. fish in the box, and we learn. Thank you, Brett. No worries. Man. God bless you, man. Good trip. Woo! We're almost done. Oh my god. We got one more spot. What? We're running out to like 40, 45 foot. We'll try to do some hog fishing. Oh yeah. We'll try to get some bigger mangroves. Oh yeah. That's probably a lot of grunts. If other fishermen had your map, your treasure map of fish, we'd be in trouble around here. It don't take long to get a fish on. A little bit better? Sandwich size. Lift up. Can reel it when you come down. Lift up. Lift up. Reel it when you come down. Lift up. Lift up. Lift up, Helen. Lift up, Helen. Now reel it when you come down. That's it. Now reel, lift it. Reel it when you come down. Now lift it. No, she's getting it. She needs to catch big fish. Big family, big fish. Let's see what you got. I bet it's a small grouper. So hard. Lift up, reel down. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I think that might be a keeper big grouper. All right, all right, you got it, you got it, you got it. Stop reeling, stop reeling. I think that's a that's a keeper right here. Oh my gosh, it's a beauty. That's a 20-inch red grouper right there. Holy from Bully. That's your keeper red grouper right there. Oh my gosh, that deserves a beer. Woohoo! <laughs> right wow. Oh. You guys are amazing. I haven't seen a keeper red in a long, long time. Oh my that gosh. Is so amazing. Are they edible? Oh, yeah, it's coming back. He's, we're gonna invite him for dinner. Great wow. Wow. wow! Wow! We gotta get a couple of seals in. Him. I come to show you where to grab them. The inside of their gills are kind of rough. Hey boys! You guys are awesome. Look, he's a good company for Red Grouper. Boom! You don't see that every day, do you? <laughs> Not anymore. Real down. Lift up, real down. Lift up. Then real down. There you go. Down. Lift up, real down. Hold my beer. Ooh, oh, perfect. That's why they cut you off. You hover. See those chompers they got? It's like a, it's like a squid beak. Wow. So yep. Beak in there. Yep. And then they. Good job, out. sweetie. Oh my gosh. Pumper fish. Mm -hmm. Perfect. I have yeah. my second pair. Oh, another grunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. A little grunt. After Katie, she started teaching others. That's right. That's cool. <laughs> I was going to say that. After the first 18 time, then you become an instructor. That's how you get certified. Ooh, nice one. That's the one you're looking for right there. That was the... Oh, that's one. a big boy. Yeah. To get that big, we started calling humps. You see how their, their foreheads, they got a little hump right there? That's that's the size you want. Those are the good ones. Two sandwiches. Sandwiches. It's been an awesome day. Ted and Helen, best new friends. Woohoo! Yeah, it was a pretty good day. They got a got one decent cobia. Got a pretty nice red grouper. A bunch of grunts and mangroves. A couple of Spanish. It's a nice day. Yeah, great. It was a good day. And you can't do the conditions like. This is... How many miles out are we right now? 28, 30. We got about a 30 mile rod back. Should be able to make 20 on the way back. Nice. Easy, easy. 20 knots on the way back. Yep. Right where I left it, right under that rock. We should lose your ring. Last one. <laughs>
for showing me the ropes. Next episode on Sailing Liberty, we're gonna see all the blue water upgrades. Until then, bon voyage! Mwah.